These videos are educational in nature and are designed to help people over 21 who smoke cigarettes switch to a less harmful alternative. <clears throat> All right, what's up everybody? Pow, Grim Green back here. Today, I wanted to spend some time talking about my like five favorite Boro mod devices. You know, Boro, billet box compatible. It's just been wildly popular for like the last five years. I personally, myself, kind of fell down the billet box rabbit hole in early 2020. I went on a little bit of a shopping spree buying all sorts of bridges and RBAs and tanks and, and mods and it was a little bit out of hand for a while. I've definitely reeled it back in, but I've amassed a little bit of a collection of bridges and devices. And so this is gonna be like my favorite devices. I'm gonna do another video soon that's gonna be my favorite bridges. That one's gonna take a little longer, I think though. I have to get things out and you know, do some side-by-side -side comparisons, really narrow it down. But my top five Boro mods, I feel like might be a little bit easier. In fact, I've got them right here in the one through five positions. So these are non-billet box, but Boro compatible devices. And look, the billet box, it's great. You know, it's the OG. It's, it's the original, it's still great. It's still got a great hand feel. It still has probably the most customization available on it. And it's great, it's just not gonna be in my top five. Interestingly enough, only one of my top five favorite Boro mods is actually like, functioning like in working condition vaping right now anyway we'll get there when we get there number five it's a cherry pine sapling this is a very minimal 3d printed mechanical boro it's got no bells and whistles it's just a little 3d printed guy it's got a fully exposed battery so when i'm using it i have to make sure that this is a good clean nice battery wrap because it's get you know, it gets handled and touched. I actually never did a review for this, and I'm not sure why. It's just a minimal little Boro mechanical banger. It's not perfect. I don't love where the button is, but it's so small and compact. When I had this built with a little mouth to lung bridge in here, it was like, I felt like I had a rebuildable disposable with me. It was so lightweight and so small and pocketable. It felt like a little square disposable. Number four, I think is going to be this 3D printed banger right here from Snowcap Mods. This is the Ravine. It's been, you know, sort of sponge painted, but this is also a fully mechanical 3D printed single 21 one 700 Boro compatible. It's mechanical and it's got a lock on the mechanical switch right there. I like this one because the switch is up here. It also has a battery cover, offers a little bit more protection that way. Still 3D printed, but I really like the snowcap mods. I don't care what anybody says, fight me. I don't know if this is that big of a surprise. It's the stubby, more importantly, it's the stubby 21, which is the 21700 version of the stubby. It's a big brick that's a 21700. It uses its own format, sort of modified taller Boro, but there's a little adapter that it comes with that makes it compatible with I mean, I don't want to say literally every other Boro on the market, but essentially literally every other Boro on the market. Just did a review for this. The Pont is still in here, still impressing me somehow. This that's just waiting to be built. It's literally been sitting on my desk for weeks, just waiting to get some wicks in there. Uh, it's the Mission Astro. Yeah, I mean, this thing's just straight up cool. There's no, there's no way around it. I love the sideways Boro tank. I don't mind a single 18650. I really like the hand feel of it. It's just wonderful to hold. It's beautiful. I like the positioning of that flat mission switch on here. It does have, you know, a little battery rattle, or not battery rattle, a little bit of like hardware rattle. It doesn't really bother me, and I'm told that it's fine if high-end things rattle because a lot of high-end things rattle. <clears throat> so yeah, maybe nobody's surprised, but my number one favorite Boro has gotta be this Cubic 60. It comes from France. It is CNC'd out of a block of red Delrin. It's got a really super handy, as you saw, magnetic faceplate on there. It's got one of the best hand feels ever. And it's not because it's smooth or like rounded on the edges or really ergonomic. It's that it is that like deck of cards sized Boro. And I just love it in my hand. I like that the buttons are flush, but they're still clicky. I like the texture and like the pattern on this. Like everything else, it's not perfect. I do have the ability to sometimes over tighten this nut and, you know, get this spring loaded contact down here. Maybe compacted a little too far down 
get some misfires with it. But if I'm careful, like I'm careful with all the things in front of me, it, it, it vapes and it vapes great. And holding it in my hand again immediately makes me want to put a bridge in it. This is a dick move, but I'm going to do it anyway. I just got this Boro as a gift from Tribal Buddha. It's a Voorhees Customs Gray, single 18650. They call it the Click Fet. It's pretty great. But this red crypt tank inside of the red cubic 60, come on, that's cool. That's too cool to pass up. Yeah, that's that's busting. So yeah, there you go. That's my top five Boro devices of all time. I can't tell you where to get them or how much any of these cost because YouTube literally hates everything about vaping. But I can tell you this, hey, if you are a current cigarette smoking person, now's the time to stop. It's 2023, better living through science, better living through technology. There is a world of safer nicotine products out on the market for you in the description of this video. I'm gonna put links to just science and just education. Yeah, this has been a Grim Green video. Let's stay smoke free literally every single day. <coughs> it's like 10.30 and I'm uh, just gonna smoke so.